We're all about changing definitions over here because when you change your thinking, it's the only way you can truly change your outcome, thus changing your life. In the penitentiary, it's flooded with what I like to call fake hard, fake hard, fake hard. A bunch of dudes who look hard, they act hard, but they don't live hard. They're not doing what's hard. This is how I had my biggest realization of life. In life, my biggest realization came when I sat in that mirror and I said, Wes, you're a bitch. You're a fucking bitch. You fucking look pretty damn hard. You look pretty damn hard, bro. But you're continually doing what puts you in tears by chasing money in the easiest fashion. Every problem I ever had came from chasing money, that easy route, that dope dealing, that robbery, those fucking easy forms of getting money where we think that karma ain't gonna catch up to us. Trust me, karma always catches up to you. And if a man is right, his world will be right. When I started to apply this wisdom of the ages, these universal laws, my whole life changed. My whole life changed. I started to see everything for what it was. That dude with the tattoos on his face, who's got the titties, and he can't stick to nothing he truly wants, he's fucking weak. That tat on the face, that fucking rough exterior, he just wanted a hug. And that's what I am. I am the person who fucking just needed to sack up, needed to create the validation from within, from his actions. I was walking around fake hard for so fucking long, it's crazy. Everything I did was the easiest way possible. And that's what people think winning is. People think winning is doing shit the easiest way possible. Winning is being strong enough to fucking lose. Winning is being strong enough to not let shit phase you. When a man fucking yells at you, you don't go seek validation through that man by fucking blasting him in his fucking face. Strength is created through your daily process and the steps that create strength within. Choosing, choosing to become your best self every day. Choosing to act in a manner that you don't necessarily want to act in to become your strongest self for those rough days. And they're coming. Best believe life is going to hand you all those roughest, roughest days to test your motherfucking ass. Adversity truly introduces a man to himself and I was around all them soft ass bitches. Straight up, soft as fuck. I'm sure some of them watch this and are like, fuck that dude, Wes. But then they go in the mirror and they start jiggling that titty and they realize that it's the fucking truth and it's gonna set you free. You're gonna no longer have these hangups and these fucking insecurities that you've had your whole life. When you do one thing, get the fuck up and work for it. That shit is straight bitch. When I see a man who obviously is living with a, with a set of fucking circumstances that is fully under his control to change, it's bitch. It's bitch being broke because you could get off your ass and fucking handle business. If you get rid of them vices and work fucking hard, I guarantee fucking tee it. If you have that long view and you have that 10 year plan, you can be rich. So you're holding yourself back. You're being a bitch. You're being fake tough, fake hard. You're working for a fake set of circumstances. You can be fucking ripped. You can have the best relationship possible if you quit fucking thinking about yourself. Everything's I. Oh, I want to do this. Some of the lamest shit I ever hear is grown ass men who, who need to go do this. Or they, they want to go do this. Motherfucker, get yourself to a place where that's not even a debate. You get to do whatever you want. You don't have to do fucking want shit. Pleasure becomes a fucking form of weakness. You only link pleasure to re fucking aggression, straight up regression. And here they are, oh Wes, oh, oh, big Wes, you need balance, you need balance. Motherfucker, my overly fucking exaggerated extreme lifestyle is my norm. It's extreme to you. Get this, understand this. You saying San Diego's expensive is your problem. Nobody else's. Plenty of people can pull it off. Why the fuck can't you? There's 48.5 million millionaires. 48.5 million millionaires. Get your fucking shit together. Start solving some problems and handle business. Handle fucking business. When you're fucking in your way all day, 
doing that fake hard shit, collecting fake money the fucking easy way with no real fucking dedication, no real consistency. You have no real pride for the attainment of the result. So you piss it the fuck off like I did. That fake ass hard shit, always running to the fucking needle, always running to the bottle. Fake ass hard, fake ass shit. When I fucking realized I was a fake ass motherfucker, I just stepped right into all the truth. And guess what? I wasn't fake enough not to share it with you motherfuckers. Speak the fuck up. Motherfuckers need to speak the fuck up. Cause guess what speaking the fuck up does? Guess what the fuck speaking the fuck up does? It holds you to it. It holds you to a certain lifestyle. It holds you to a certain set of principles. People don't speak up because then they got to live it. Now they're in trouble because if they don't live it, everyone sees how fucking fake hard they are. And I saw them all in the pen. Wes, Wes, big Wes, I'm going to work out with you, bro. I'm going to run this in. I got three years left. I'm going to come out jet. These motherfuckers end up, ding, they hit the bell because they ran up that dope debt because they had a conversation they couldn't take. Or getting up early every day, they couldn't handle it. It was too much for them. Don't you ever, don't you fucking ever whine about how much food you got to eat when you were fucking claiming you were hungry. You were fucking hungry. You stacked that plate. Now it's your fucking time to clean it up. I can't even fucking put into place how many people that make me proud lately. Motherfuckers who make me proud lately. They get in my DM. And they say, I'm up. They're up before me. They're checking me. They're holding me accountable. And I love it because I ain't going to let them fail. I fucking said it. If a man is anything, all your parents told you this. All your dads told you this. You motherfuckers. All your dads told you this. A man is nothing but his word. Why the fuck do you think you could break it on your diet or your training plans or your promise to take care of your fucking wife and kids like a motherfucking man? The only thing that keeps that motherfucker down is his fucking vices. I, I fucking personally know my biggest hindrance was the alcohol and the drugs and the pleasure seeking. If I just stayed purpose driven, if I just stayed purpose driven for a 10 piece, a motherfucking 10 piece purpose driven, everything's easy. Everything is easy with that 10 year plan. You motherfuckers want 10 year pay in two years. I told a real estate agent buddy of mine from the pen one time. He said, Wes, I'm making X amount of money, Wes. I'm making X amount of money. I said, motherfucker, you sound like you're, you're down on how much you're making. You don't understand the correlation. This is your two years in. You're getting two year pay. In 20 years, you get 20 year pay. If your heart's in it, if you don't bitch out and refuse to comprehend shit at the level needed, if you don't step up to the plate to fucking progress, yeah, you don't get it. And that's where the conscious congruent living comes into fucking play. Every morning, it's going to tell you to do more. More is your fucking avenue for your progression. Progression is fucking life. When we fucking don't surpass our last level, I don't give a fuck if you made 10 million last year. I don't give a fuck if you made 10 million last year. If you don't make 11 this year, you're gonna feel like less of yourself. You're already used to the fucking 10. You need 11, you need 11. And you need to push yourself to that next rep in your set. You need to push yourself to that next day without cheating. You need to push your people and show them you love them by being the best version of your motherfucking self.